Uh, you can see it's not hard to see that the high price of gas is affecting almost everything. Food prices just mentioned are being brought to the stores by some truckers who pay for very expensive gas. And as Kevin Wheeler explains tonight, truck drivers across the country are also feeling the heat when it comes to those high gas prices. The prices at the gas pump seem like they have been hit by the Energizer Bunny. They keep going and going up. It's affecting the truck drivers who deliver goods. It's, it's tough right now. It's really tough. Um, I've been doing this going on 13 years, and this is the toughest I've ever seen it. John Whitener owns Southern Refrigerated Trucking. He says the struggle of keeping gas in 35 trucks is no joke. Everybody I've talked to is suffering. Um, trucks are, are getting harder to come by um, as far as for the customers are looking for trucks because trucking companies are going out of business left and right these days. Crude oil prices are rising every day. It's now well over $100 a barrel. Uh, we're going to see a lot of inflation from this, and, and, and that's the sad part about it. Barry Willoughby has been selling trucks for 25 years. He says the business has had its ups and downs, but not like this. People don't appreciate these these guys that run these trucks. Uh, they don't they don't understand the struggle that they have just trying to make a dollar to go get them the food that they eat. Right now, these truck stop here is about half full of trucks, but truckers are concerned that if gas prices continue to rise, they will have to park their trucks permanently. Truck drivers that own and operate their vehicles are really on the front lines of the struggle. It's driving a lot of them up to where uh, they, they, they can't make it anymore, and they're going to have to either go into other fields or um, start turning over a company truck. They can all agree on one thing, and that is that something has to be done. Congress has got to step in or something. You know, we've, we've got to have some relief here, but I don't know what the answer is. Kevin Wheeler for 7 on your side. Widener said he is now paying nearly $4 a gallon for a gallon of gas, adding up to at least $1,000 a day to fill the gas tank.